My name is Don McRoby, and as president of Cofield Brown, I and our entire staff from across Canada welcome this opportunity to congratulate you on your gold medal award as Canada's Advertising Man of the Year, and also to pay genuine tribute to the dynamic leadership and inspiration you have provided to the city of Montreal and indeed to the entire nation. Because of your unceasing efforts to make Expo 67 the reality it is, Canada is being presented today as a nation of true world stature and prestige. But there was a day when you stood alone and faced the critics who said it couldn't be done. Allow me, Mr. Mayor, to recall for you the sequence of some of the events which have produced the greatest single sales story that Canada has ever told. En 1962, vous nous quittiez pour l'Europe afin de soumettre la candidature du Canada pour l'exposition universelle de 1967. À votre retour, vous annonciez fièrement au monde entier que cette exposition aurait lieu à Montréal. Mais où à Montréal? C'est à vous encore que nous devons ce site si étonnant. Vous vouliez créer de toutes pièces la terre des hommes dans notre majestueux Saint-Laurent. C'est un projet utopique, vous attendez. Mais vous avez su gagner la confiance des autorités provinciales et fédérales de l'époque. Vous avez su convaincre votre propre entourage au conseil municipal. Et, fort de ces appuis, vous vous êtes mis à l'œuvre. Vous vous rappellerez sans doute, avec émotion, ce premier camion de terre, prélude des millions d'autres qui suivirent, et aussi de ce premier bulldozer qui commença à renverser les obstacles. De nouveau, les pessimistes firent des leurs, en cru que le site ne serait pas prêt à temps, mais déjà vos îles prenaient forme, sans poser. Avec un orgueil des plus justifiés, dans les délais prévus, vous remettiez enfin ces terrains à la compagnie de l'exposition universelle. Day and night, in the ensuing months, you worked side by side with the Expo and city engineers in the massive build-up. On April the 28th, 1967, Expo 67 opened to the world. Strangely enough, the voices of your critics stilled and then sang out in praise of this magnificent achievement. But it didn't stop there. The world came and saw and here, for the first time in Canadian history, voices from Paris to New York, Moscow to Tokyo, and London to Tel Aviv sang in praise of a gigantic Canadian success. Come one. Expo 67, Montreal, Canada, April 28th to October 27th, 1967. Speaking for Expo 67, Ed Sullivan. This is a really big shoe. And this year, I'll be here to enjoy the world's greatest performers and entertainers who will appear in a Canadian World Festival of Entertainment. Expo 67, Montreal, Canada. The first international exhibition of its kind ever to be held in North America. The world's major orchestras, opera companies, ballet companies, the world's greatest national theatrical groups, 200 magnificent attractions showing man's wide achievements in the world of the performing arts. An exciting part of Expo's theme, man and his world. You'll thrill to the world's greatest performers when you visit Expo 67. 
See you in Montreal, Canada. Who in the world is he? Yuri Gagarin. This year, Americans can visit the Soviet Union by visiting Expo 67 at Montreal, Canada. In a spectacular exhibit of our country, you'll see something of our adventure in space, Soviet medicine, Soviet fashions, in fact, all aspects of Soviet contemporary life, all reflected in our theme, Everything in the Name of Man, for the good Expo of man. 67. Expo 67 is your opportunity to see what the Soviet Union, the United States, and the people of more than 70 other nations are doing. For men and his world. For accommodation, write Lodge Expo, Expo 67, Montreal, Canada. Who in the world is he? It's James Mason. I'm here to invite you on a marvelous trip to Britain. And it's a trip which all of you can take because this year Britain is coming to North America to Expo 67 in Montreal, Canada, which is the greatest international exhibition ever. Britain has a very beautiful building where you can see the traditions of the British, their achievements, and their contribution to world progress. A very real picture of modern Britain and of the modern British. Britain really is in North America this year, along with 71 other nations to show you and your family man and his world. And incidentally, it's a glorious way to get to know Canadian hospitality. Who in the world is he? Victor Borger. You may be surprised to know that this year, Denmark, as well as all Scandinavia and most of Europe, is very close to you, as close as Montreal, Canada. Expo 67, probably the world's greatest exhibition. France will show many of her great works of art. From Italy, the best of her priceless national treasures. And Belgium displays her famous tapestries. And you and your family can get a sense of European history and tradition and glimpse of Europe's future. It is only a few hours from where you live to a world of more than 70 nations. Man and his world at Expo 67, Montreal, Canada. For accommodation, write Lodge Expo, Expo 67, Montreal, Canada. Who in the world is she? Olivia de Havilland. I was born in Japan. This year, you and your family can see Japan by coming to Canada and visiting Expo 67, the universal and international exhibition being held in Montreal. You can see how Japan's people have blended their ancient traditions with modern living. The art and taste of Japanese food, the delicate beauty of the geisha, the famous kabuki dancers. It's modern industrial achievements, Japan and more than 71 nations together to show your family, man and his world. A wonderful adventure in education for children only a few hours away. For accommodation, write Lodge Expo, Expo 67, Montreal, Canada. Who in the world is he? Shalom Avakha. This is Georgie Jessel to talk to you about the youngest of the old countries, Israel. If you've wondered what modern Israel is like, about its people. People who turn deserts into farms, develop their arts, and are aware of their heritage. In short, if you'd like to experience the very feel of Israel, you can. Israel is in North America this year. A proud nation participating in the world's greatest international exhibition, 
Expo 67 in Montreal, Canada. There'll be 71 nations there to show you and your family man and his world and what man is doing with his world. Expo 67 is a magnificent way for you to visit the nations of the world and enjoy the hospitality of Canadians. Qu'est-il Simplement Maurice Chevalier qui vous salue, messieurs dames. Tiens, petit. Vous devez savoir que cette année, la France, et d'ailleurs une très grande partie de l'Europe, seront aussi près de chez vous que l'est, par exemple, Montréal au Canada. Grâce à Expo 67, la plus spectaculaire exposition internationale jamais réalisée. À l'Expo 67, vous pourrez voir de près l'Europe et son histoire et avoir un aperçu de son avenir. L'Expo 67 est seulement à quelques heures de chez vous, à Montréal, au Canada. J'y chanterai en juillet. Venez me voir là-bas. Au revoir. Qui donc est-il Ici Mario Verdon. Durant six mois, un festival mondial nous présentera des artistes et des interprètes de renommée universelle. C'est l'Expo 67. La première exposition internationale et universelle de première catégorie, présentée en Amérique du Nord. Les meilleurs orchestres du monde, des compagnies de ballet et d'opéra, des troupes nationales de théâtre, en tout, plus de 200 manifestations de grand style, tout ce que l'homme fait de mieux dans le domaine du spectacle. C'est un aspect divertissant du thème de l'expo « Terre des hommes ». Les plus grands artistes du monde se produiront pour nous à l'expo.